So uh, I thought it'd be fun to tell you guys some hopefully amusing anecdotes about Burning Wheel. Uh, and uh, tell you guys how we got here. So we've been uh, we've been doing this for eight years, but Burning Over Lies came out uh, on, uh, on uh, May 5th, 2005. So this is our, you know, 10, 10, 10 is obviously the five year anniversary for uh, 555. Screw the math. <laughs> um, so uh, I spent weeks putting this freaking presentation together. I put off lots of other work. Uh, to put this stupid thing together, so it's, it's terrible, but it's my first one ever. Uh, I, learned, I learned from watching these guys in the back. I learned from watching uh, Scott and Mary in the back. So, okay, so, uh, so yeah, so we're real. We've been, we're, we're a very small press role playing game publisher, right? We're a really small press, I'll show you why. All right, so let's slide. <laughs> All right, so we're, so it, I'm gonna give you guys some burning facts. Get us rolling. Get our brains juiced up in the morning. Uh, show you guys kind of the, uh, the, the math behind what we do. All right, so let's go. All right, so uh, to understand everything else I'm gonna say, let's let's look at what we've published in the past uh, eight years. So 2002, some of you who remembers classic? Who was part of the classic? That's pretty good. Uh, so that's for those of you who don't know the the Burning Wheel Classic. And in 2004, we published the Monster Burner, uh, which was, was our bridge, because we're insane. Uh, it was our bridge between Classic and Burning uh, Wheel We uh, stop that. <laughs> right, Tro? Where are you? So we did, 2004, we published uh, Under Serpent Sun. Not in that form, actually. The original form is a little bit different. Clyde! Uh, so, uh, right, and then, what, uh, and then in 2005 we published Burning Wheel Revised. We were just going to make a few changes, we're just going to clean it up, reorganize it. <laughs> and we just add the dual wits. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, Paths of Spite, does anybody have Paths of Spite here? Anybody have the printed copy? Uh, nice. So, yeah, the, the, uh, and, so we did, we did a lot of small little things here. These are, these are all sales stitch table bound stuff, uh, 2005. Uh, we also did, <laughs> I thought somebody was applauding. Uh, and then we did Burning Sands Jihad in, in 2005. It's kind of busy, right? It's 2006, well, we can be excused for only doing one thing in 2006. We did Burning Empires and Chris Moeller, Jesus. Uh, and then uh, 2007, Blossoms, 2008, Magic Burner, 2009, um, Bloodstained Stars in 2010, The Adventure Burner. So, hello. Uh, some of you may be wondering, well, why are you slacking off in uh, 2008, 2009? So the slide, uh, we uh, in, we were doing some other stuff uh, around there. So we, uh, we didn't publish these. Burning Hill Headquarters didn't publish these, but uh, I did all the work, <laughs> uh, except for the other half of the work on that one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, 51%. Okay. All right. So, and meanwhile, so we did all these these books. We did all this other stuff too. Uh, it, you know, uh, but I don't count these actually. And the, the numbers that I'm going to show you guys next, I don't really count this stuff. Uh, did anybody play? Anyone here? Here's an uh, oldie but goodie. Anybody play Von Gogh's Predicament, our first demo adventure? One, two, three. Well, I think I burned the headquarters, guys. <laughs> That's J Staff. Do you remember? Do you remember your first? That was our first meeting. It was. Uh, I remember Ed Chow you scared me away. What? What's it? Ed Chow ran right away after you learned the fighting rules. Uh, yes. I remember. Also, Frank passed out in a ditch. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, it might have been. Does anyone know? In 2006, does anyone know what that is? What that uh, that demo is? Anyone take a guess? You. Some of you played it. Inheritance. Inheritance. Uh, that's the that's the relationship map for inheritance. I never wrote it up. I just wrote that up. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful madness. Uh, and we got a little bit more formal as we went. Okay. So next. Uh, okay. So what that comes out to is eleven print publications, fifteen books. Yeah, I know. It's not very impressive. <laughs> Three thousand uh, six hundred and seventy pages uh, in eight years. Uh, three, at 300 words per page, an impressive sounding 1 million, 100 thousand words. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> so, uh, 15, 
15 books uh, in eight years comes to uh, one and seven eighths book a year. Uh, and that comes to about an average of 244.67 pages. I've never actually published two thirds of a page. But, well, like, actually, that might not be true. Some of those character burners had blank pages in the uh, original pressing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so uh, 458.76 pages a year, so which makes each book about 73,400 words, which is about a novella. If any of you are writers, it's about a novella a year. Eh. Um, yeah, and, uh, oh no, that's, I'm sorry, so actually that comes to 100, that's a novel a year, 137,000 uh, words a year, right? No, that sounds, sounds impressive. So, okay. Uh, it's our, that's my sonar, actually, it's my sonar, actually. Let's, yeah. So, one, that's one point, uh, one and a quarter pages a day, 377 words a day. All right, give me the next one, give me the next one. So, uh, yeah, his book on writing, Stephen King, uh, it suggests aspiring writers starting a thousand words a day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been uh, too busy in my room. <laughs> okay, so uh, all right, so let's let's back up. So that's that's kind of our pedigree. Uh, on one hand, it, it looks you know on one hand it's kept me very busy, but on the other hand, like. The, uh, Terry, who made your cupcakes last night, you heard she sold, what, 500,000 cookbooks in like a couple years? Five years, maybe? Yeah, so, very impressive. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go. Um, so, right, so, this is where it all started. Uh, actually, I mean, again, Anthony. No, it started, yeah, no, it started here. Right? No, no, wait, no. Actually, go, go again. It started here. Uh, but that's another story. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, in uh, 1998, I made these. No, 97. Yes, 97, I made these. Uh, Kinko's, baby, Kinko's. Actually, Kinko's Scholastic Joint Effort. Uh, I worked at Scholastic Books at the time, and um, I spent all night on the photocopier. Uh, I was away. For a summer, I was uh, visiting my family for a summer in '97, and I was really fucking bored. And uh, I said, uh, "Let me try." We, we, we had actually written a science fiction role playing game, which is terrible. Uh, and I, so I converted it as role players like to be like, "Ah, fantasy science fiction, they're the same thing." Uh, so I converted it to this, and um, uh, yeah, then we. Um, it, it actually turned out to be a lot better in the fantasy version. Way, way better than the sci-fi. didn't really work. All right. Uh, so uh, I came home the fall of 97 uh, at, with a surprise, with this in hand. Uh, this is the first Burning Wheel session. Yeah, we, uh, my roommate Rick Brown took these photos. That guy in the middle there, that's Bronte. Kublai. Pete, where is he? Uh, he's not here yet? Uh, can't embarrass him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and that, the big guy in the back, that's Pop. He ran the first burning wheel session. Uh, I had run a campaign, uh, like I had run a shower campaign for many years, and I didn't want to run games for them anymore because they're assholes. Uh, so, so uh, I was like, how about you run a game? And actually, Bob and I collaborated on the surprise that, you know, I would convert our crappy science fiction game to a fantasy game, and then we would spring it on everybody, we would play and have a binge all weekend. Oh yeah, you can see how excited everyone was right there. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Whew, it's actually not that different. It's, you know, I haven't really got that much better at layout. So, <laughs> I basically learned to hire artists, is what it comes to. So that led, yeah, that led to this. This was our uh, long-running burning wheel test campaign. Yeah, that's right. He's holding a sword. Uh, and, and yeah, that's right. His face is marked with something from a character trait in the game. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, we played this uh, campaign for a number of years. It was pretty grueling, but this was the actually this was the second actual campaign that we played when we started going. So let's go. Uh, 
uh, and yeah, that which led to donuts, which led to to Rich in the blanket, who uh, it, right, who hasn't changed at all, which is hilarious. This is from like 2000, and he's still wrapped up in that blanket. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, right, so then that led to this. Um, the uh, to, that's me hunched over my computer editing Burning Mill Classic. Uh, which I actually don't have a copy of with me. That's so interesting. I totally forgot. Uh, that, and I have that, that uh, piece of butcher's paper is downstairs, actually, so you guys can go downstairs and see what uh, I can scribble on the wall. Uh, so actually campaign notes uh, to remind me. Uh, and that, that you can see in the back, that's my schedule. I had, uh, I'd never written a book before. I had no idea what I was doing. No idea what I was getting into. So I had a schedule up on the wall, what I needed to do every day. Um, and it actually helped a lot. Uh, yeah, and that photo is a photo of uh, the streets around in Tribeca empty after um, uh, 2000, September 11, 2001. So let's go. Uh, that was, yeah, that was spring. This is spring 2002. Okay. Uh, and that led to this. Yeah. So that, uh, this is uh, fall of 2002. This is Ann Arbor, Michigan. That's Cushing Willard Printers. Uh, and this is where we still get our books printed today. I love these guys. So I went on a tour of their factory. They showed me everything. Uh, and they were super nice. And, and we still print them today. They actually do pretty good quality books uh, overall. And you know, we've had our you know, differences over the years. We've had our hiccups, but uh, they do pretty well. Okay. Hey, hey. Uh, right. Ah, there they are. Um, in all their austere glory. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars for that madness. I had, I, I had one guy on a forum, one freelancer, I can't remember, he keep telling me I was stealing food from his kids' mouths, publishing for fifteen dollars for the set. I was like, well, screw your kids. <laughs> yeah, they should learn to hunt and fend for themselves. <laughs> Unskilled tests. So, so, uh, so right, so, and that led us all the way to here, so that's, we put in 1,036 copies of Classic, uh, 5,047 uh, copies of The Monster Runner, this is all to date, uh, 50, 50 copies of Serpent Sun, um, of which I have two, because uh, I stole Droz, uh, 8,157 copies of uh, Burning Mill Revised, so Burning Mill Revised is in its fourth printing in five years, which is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good by actual normal publishing standards. Uh, it's not a breakout hit, but it's kind of evergreen. 50 copies of Spite, 588 copies of Jihad, which I'm kind of proud of, but who thought? Especially since that's also available for free. Uh, 4,090 copies of Burning Empires and probably, uh, yeah, that's like, yeah, 10 tons of Burning Empires. And, uh, five, 500 of them were pulped because of the binding issue, the binding issue and maybe 100 and odd were returned. So there's about 3,500 of those in print. Um, 1,030 copies of Blossoms, also, what the fuck? Okay. Uh, that's, I, when I tallied that number this time, I was like, that's great. I didn't realize we sold that many. Uh, 3,699 of the Magic Burner. Uh, so that's since 2008. Magic Burner sells really well. I don't know why you guys like Magic. No clue. But uh, it's kind of a tourist essay. 2,000 copies of Bloodstained Stars, and then we just printed the uh, Adventure Burner for uh, 2,070 copies. I didn't order 2,070 copies, by the way. That's just the way it comes out on the other end of the printer. Yes, John? Do you include PDFs? No, I do not include PDFs in any of my figures. I, yeah, I don't include them in the words per day or any of that stuff. Uh, let's go. Uh, so right, so that comes to 27,817 uh, books in print. Uh, and we print about uh, 3,477 books a year. And as I pointed out, yeah, John's wife has sold like 500,000 books. So, <laughs> Ah, you know, we do all right. Uh, all right, let's go. Uh, so, and, and by comparison, uh, Mouse Guard has sold every single one of the 10,000 that it printed, uh, and we printed 1,000 copies of free market this year, 1,000 of the box sets. Uh, let's go. Uh, 